Hey guys, welcome back to Crypto Kingdom 78. I'm going to show everybody um, how to basically follow the proper way, you know, to follow the proper way of graphs here on Dex Tools. So you'll see what's happening. That's why when people panic and I don't and they wonder why I'm not is because I know what I'm doing and I know how these graphs work and I know how the buys and sells control the price. I know exactly when to sell at the peak and I know exactly when to rebuy back in. Maybe not to the exact point, but within 5% I do. And anybody can learn this, how to read these graphs. It's new to crypto or been buying crypto and just can't quite figure out what's making the price go up and down compared to like a stock. So what's happening is right now, you go to dextools.io and then you wanna put the pair up that we're looking. We're gonna look at Mars, Shiba and DYOR because both those did uh, extremely well for us the first 24 hours. And you'll see that uh, you know a lot of people want to sell when they dropped. And I said, no, wait till they go back green because they will. Because I'm watching the chart. I know they're going to go back green again. And then you can see here that Mars Sheba is back to 16 and it went all the way down to nine with another zero. And that's all the people that know what they're doing that have the trillions and trillions of tokens rebought back in at nine. Pure profit and they have their money from before. So I believe Mars Sheba hit um, 51 so my tokens alone went to like 13,000 and change and I didn't even buy a lot. I usually buy $1,000 worth. So you could just imagine if I had time that day to buy my normal $1,000 worth of this, which is normally what I do, I would have had $51,000 within 24 hours. I mean, we're talking like athlete salary now and movie star pay for a day. I mean, it's crazy, but it's true. It can be done. So you can see on the screen here, there's the price, there's the market cap in green, okay? But what you wanna look at, not so much just the market cap, it's a lot easier too, you can load this on a laptop, but you can see what's happening here. Now it's just gone straight green. Now what's happening is the buys are, every time there's buys in a row, it pushes that price up. You can see it's a little bit of a decimal point past the 15. Tells you what everybody's buying, the quantities coming in, okay? So if you see a lot of green, that's just that just means the buys are coming in. I mean, just common sense. But the point is, I can tell when this is leveled off because right now we're like, look at the buys coming in. We're probably in the 95% green to 5% red if we were to add up the screen for the last five, or let's just say the last 100 trades It'd be like 90% green, for example, 10% red. Until that hits the 50-50 point and or someone's out selling the buyers, like I, you know, somebody like me that spends a lot of money on a, a particular token, like trillions and trillions and trillions, I could sell like a quadrillion tokens all in one shot and that would really make it go down in red because the buys coming in, let's just say we're all small and you can see what those are in BNB here. I saw a guy, for example... Today, put five BNB into um, Marshiba. And this is after people have panicked. And I'm actually seeing people that are spending four grand on this. And these are like the heavy hitter type buyers. So they know because they know how to do this. So my point is, if you want to see when it's going to peak out, follow the DEX tools. Because once you start seeing a lot of red, that price is going to start leveling off and stop going up. Okay, that's why the price is still kind of creeping up slowly right now because the green. We're seeing a lot of buys come through in real time here. And um, I can catch this thing very consistently if I have time. Like I want to spend 24-7 on this because it's easy money. Like it's, it's honestly, it's easy to do if you put the time in. But you can't, if you're going to log into CoinMarketCap and flip out or CoinGecko, then you shouldn't be buying tokens because you have no idea what's going on. Everybody thought, you know, look at my messages on the channel. People think, oh, the tokens crashed the second day with 40,000 people that just joined? Impossible. Look how many people have come in the last minute, whether or not they're uh, new buyers or not. Look at 4.46 and 4.47 p.m. They're coming in every 5, 10 seconds a buy. Look at, look at how green the screen is. This is why I don't panic. You, Everybody's, oh, what, why, didn't you, why don't you sell cat girl? Aren't you panicking? <laughs> panicking? You're, I'm going to feel like an idiot selling it when it's 10 times higher in the next couple of months and it's worth 800 grand. And then I'm going to say, geez, the good thing I didn't listen to people messaging on the channel because they don't know what they're doing. That's why there's no reason to get like all crazy with these tokens. This is very easy to figure out. Like it's, uh, 
Yeah, I don't have to be a genius to figure these graphs out. The, as long as we're staying green on the screen, the price is going to go up. Once it goes to 70, 30, 60, 40, the price is going to start leveling off and start going flush, like flat. And then once you start seeing 60, 40 red, that price is going to start coming down. So as long as you're watching the DEX tools here, I don't have to tell you anything. As long as you know the difference between green and red, like driving a car red like green light, you should be able to watch this, get a computer screen going or how many computers it takes you and get like eight tokens going at once, like day trading stocks. If you're just happy making, you know, 50 times your money is incredible. And we did what? I don't know, 30 something, I think 37X on DYOR and 51X on uh, Shiba Mars. And I got way more like that coming. And yes, you can make a living doing this, but you got to treat it like a job. So I suggest if you're going to watch the graphs and you see something getting hot and going up, watch your graphs, get out with some profit up at the top, keep some so you can't really lose because if it keeps going up, you still got in your good position with what you have left. And then if it drops, you rebuy it back. But out of the five grand profit you took from DYOR or Mars Shiba that we're on right now, um, you'll be able to buy back four times the amount of tokens with the same amount of money and then do it again. And like I said, if you get caught when it's going up and you can't just, you know, you can't get out, you're still in good position because you got your cash back in your pockets. So we're going to hit 16 here because you can see the price with the buys in a row. This is what happens. So why it went up to 51 is because it was a 95 to 5 green to red screen. The cells could not offset or bring down the green going up. And that's all it was. This went to 51x. It did not tank. This token didn't tank. The token went down because anybody that wanted 50x, 40x profit took it. So the people are actually kind of smart buying this. And now guess what? It's going to happen all over again. Except every time it does this, it should find, if it's a good token, it's going to find a new level. So instead of going down to 9 next time, it'll probably go down to 12 or 13. Then the time after that, it'll go down to 16 and 17. And you're going to say, why? Because the holders have doubled since then. Instead of 32,000, holders will be 42,000, then 82,000. As long as it's a good token and you do your research and see the signups coming in. Because it's amazing. They're all doing the same thing. Look at the graph. There's the one everybody's panicking about. Mars Shiba, should I sell? Should I sell? Go ahead, sell it at nine. Now you just lost six, seven points. It's at 16. It's probably, you see a little bit of red on there because this guy probably bought it nine and goes, holy shit, I just seven, you know, I went up seven X more on the position, seven points. So he's going to sell one particular guy. Maybe the guy that just sold at 450 in 32 seconds, maybe he bought at zero one like we did or 11 zeros one and goes, well, I'm going to take 16 X. There's nothing wrong with that. And then if it drops, I'll buy more. And I still got, you know, a hundred trillion tokens or whatever the guy's holding. You can check all the wallets and see as well, which is nice. And now we'll go over and take a look. Amazing. DYOR. This token's done. It's a scam. It's a rug. We got rug pulled on DYOR. No, actually, Chris just made another 10 grand on DYOR. Thank you very much. This is why I'm successful in buying tokens and general public people aren't. Because I do the due diligence and the research and know how to and know how to read these graphs. Like it's just Amazing, DYOR is doing the exact, oh, look at the screen. There's your tanking token, DYOR. All I'm seeing is a green candle straight up. And it's going to do the same thing again. So you could have made uh, DYOR. I think that was the one that went to 37X for us. And believe me, I want everybody to do well on the channel. But you got to start listening to what I am doing here. If I thought it was a uh, panic to sell, I would make a video and say, Sell now. I'm selling now. I'm not telling anybody what to do, but I'll definitely tell you what I'm doing. That's why you don't see any videos because I'm not in the panic mode in the panic business. I'm in the making money business. If you can't handle a token going down, don't buy it because if you like it, just they got to go down. They can't just go straight green. And if this thing pumps green to 25, 27 right now, it's going to dip back down to 20. But every time it dips, if it's a strong token, it's going to you know, dip to a new level, a new high of a dip. Instead of dipping down to, I don't know what DYOR went down, but guess what? When it went down, I bought more. Then I've already tripled since it went down. I think it was eight or nine or seven, something like that. No, I bought more because I, I could see the signups coming in because I'm watching the screen. So this is how you do it because the more I show everybody, the less questions I'll get and the more people can do on their own. They don't have to take the time to ask me a question. They can just wait for the next token video to come up 
and do the exact same process on that token. It doesn't matter if it's Ethereum. The graphs work the same no matter what the token is. I told everybody on video one, I had a certain way to do this, and this isn't the only thing that I do to find a token, but I have a certain way to know when these things are going to cap out. That's why I knew when people were saying, ah, it's not going to hit 10. Uh, I can't remember, but I think it was DYOR. Oh, it's not going to hit, it's not going to hit 10. And then an hour later, that thing was at like 17. Now I knew it was going to go like that, but the people writing the messages, doubting it, they didn't know because they didn't know how to even use this chart. So anyways, that's just some advice on how to read these charts, these graphs to figure out what's going on. If you see mostly green on the screen, the price cannot come down in the world of tokens unless all the cells are outweighing the buys tokens. So there could be one cell that's more than 10 buys in the token volume. That's the only thing that's going to bring it down. You're going to watch this price on the right. And as long as we get greens in a row, uh, DYOR has already snuck back up into the 20s magically. 21X, people are calling this a tanking token, a rug pull. Huh. Don't watch my channel if you think I put rug pull tokens up because I think people are just idiots. If they think a 21x return when they would have never, you know, if they never watched my video or anything in the past, where were they going to take 100 bucks and turn it into 2100 or 3700 within 24 hours? There's no other videos like this on YouTube that show people how to do this. I want people to do well, but grown adults have to use some common sense here. And I have to learn things on their own. And I'm just making this simplified. So anyway, this is how you read graphs, DEX tools, and learning where the token's going to peak off. I, I can, I'm going to be able to put up a video if I had time and tell you exactly following this within five minutes of where this thing's going to level off and when it's going to start going down a little bit. Because I can, because, you know, it's, not, it's just common sense. Look at the screen. There's the green. We're still heavy green compared to heavy red. And that's it. That's looking at uh, DYOR, I believe it was 37X, and Mars Shiva, 51X, first day. Reading Dex Tools graphs. I want everybody to do well. And welcome to the channel if you're new.